everybody, today's video topic is why you shouldn't become your fear. Fear is natural, however, the way you associate yourself with your fear is actually what really intensifies the fear and makes it really real for you. Remember, you're in control of your fear, the fear is not in control of you. And what most of us do is that we give up that control to the fear and we feel this plaguing -ness, this intensity of just like dreadfulness and fear because we just have we just have given up control and the minute we can take the power back and understand that we are not our fear and fear isn't really part of us it's just something we start associating ourselves with it and we kind of become the fear but you have the ability to not become your fear when you realize that it's not part of who you are when we don't feel like doing something, that gives us a reason why we shouldn't do that something. But understand that regardless of if we do it or if we don't do it, that fear will still be there. And just say to your fear, hey fear, I want to do this and you're just going to come along with me anyway. And just bring it along and understand that the fear will be there. And use the fear as kind of fuel, as kind of like, like the fire and it's as a, like it's pushing you forward and it's just kind of like fueling you to actually do it because when you have a fear fear is actually a good thing that means it kind of gets you nervous that kind of gets you anxious but once you accomplish whatever you want to do that fear completely dissolves and then you kind of get a high you feel so happy that you follow through and you didn't listen to your fear if we listen to our fear and associate ourselves with our fear we'll always remain small and we'll never take steps being fearful is kind of like equal to being courageous when you're fearful you also have it gives you the courage to just step forth and be like no I'm not gonna let my fear hold me back because I don't want to become my fear because if we just fear we become our fear and we never become who we want to become what our fear wants us to become is it wants us to stay small stay have it stay in control of us. It kind of takes our power away from us. It makes us miserable, it makes us unhappy, it makes us unsatisfied, unfulfilled, depressed, worried, anxious. Those are all friends of fear. And the more we stay in a fearful state of mind, the more we'll feel those fearful feelings, the fear's friends, and we'll never get anything done because we'll be so crippled, so paralyzed by our fear. So make friends with your fear. If not make friends with your fear, make your fear an ally and just say, we're gonna do this together. I don't care if you don't like it, but I have to do this for myself. Be courageous and take a step forward. You can change your emotional patterning by exercising, by meditating, by writing, by getting whatever you're feeling out because it's energy and it needs to be expressed. So write down how you feel mentally, emotionally, physically. Just get it all out and then just do it. Bring the fear with you and just do it. Now people who skydive and people who do very like life threatening things, they still have fear, but they don't attach or associate themselves with their fear. They have fear and they feel the fear, but they choose to just continue doing what they do because they know that fear is not a part of who they are. They don't become their fear. And that's what enables them to do what they do. As long as you allow it, fear will continue to cripple you, paralyze you, consume you, and just take you away from your happiness. Because fear doesn't want to see you happy. Fear wants to keep you in this miserable state of mind and miserable state of feeling like crap all the time. And the minute you stop associating and stop becoming your fear you can become your true self and your true self wants happiness wants to feel peaceful wants to feel joy wants to be courageous wants to take that step and do things that's out of the box it's like an exhilarating exciting way of living so to not become your fear is to understand that you control your fear the fear doesn't control you Write down how you feel emotionally, mentally, and physically. And understand where all that fearful energy is coming from. And then tell your fear, we're going to do this, and you're coming along with me. And just do it and give your best shot. I really hope you found this video useful. And if you would like, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Thanks for watching. Bye.